Hello everybody, this is Ronnie and I'm back today to answer one of your questions and uh, today I'm going to tackle Ashira's question that uh, she left in our group. So she says, I think I know the answer to this, but is there a way to pixelate an image in Canva? So thank you Ashira for asking this. I'd be curious to know uh, what do you think the answer is? Because you, th you say, I think I know the answer. Um, I'd be curious to know what was your first guess? Um, so let's try to pixelate an image. Let's head over to Canva. This is um, a simple canvas with a square picture inside of it, a picture of Biggie, one of my favorite rappers. Uh, so let's see if we can pixelate it. So I don't see any effects here that could actually do it. We could create small squares, but that would be an, an ant's work and that would last forever. So I'm not gonna do this. Instead, I'm going to type in pixel in the search box and see what comes up. So we see we have a bunch of different uh, pixel art uh, popping up. Some are free, some are not free. So what I'm looking for is something that I could put, like I could superimpose on top of my photo and just play with the transparency to create some kind of pixelated effect, right? Something like maybe this one, no? this $1 element. So if I click on this, see, this is like some kind of pixels. It has some color. So let me see if that would work. Uh, one nice feature of this element is that it has the photo property. So I can play with the adjustment and I can reduce the saturation, for example, to have it black and white. And now what I could do with this is reduce the transparency and have some kind of pixelated effect on top of Biggie's face like this. So this is not bad and I can play with the transparency. I can make this less transparent or more transparent to kind of accentuate the effect. So if this is fine by you, and I think this is pretty cool. I mean, you could uh, bring this all the way up. If you go all the way up, make sure you hold the control key. Otherwise, this image is going to replace your background. So hold the control key or the command key on the Mac so that the image, uh, the element that you are uh, using here doesn't like f merge into your background. Let me try without it like this. No, it's not doing it. But before I tried this before and it was doing it. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have in store for you, Ashira. I hope this answers your question. Let me know if uh, it does and if it doesn't, maybe you have another answer. I'd be curious to hear it. I hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next video.